Hi, my name is Jay Kim. Uh, in this video, I'll be explaining what IB Diploma Program Math Curriculum looks like, and I will choose one program and one unit uh, to explain in detail. So in the IB Diploma Program, uh, there are many, many things students need to take, and one of them is mathematics. So in IB DP, students must take at least one mathematics class, and there has been some changes recently so as of 2019, there are four classes students may choose from. So the first choice is analysis and approaches program, and the students can take either standard level or high level. So this analysis and approaches uh, focuses more on pure mathematics. And students who wish to study mathematics or engineering in college uh, may choose this program. Uh, the second choice would be application interpretation, uh, also with standard level and high level. So students who are interested in more, uh, more of modeling, statistics, or graph theory may choose this. And the students who take this um, are more likely to go into applied mathematics in college. So in analysis and approaches program, there are five different topics uh, that are covered in the program. And standard level and high level students have different proportions and different teaching hours. Um, depending on where they are. And among those five topics, I am going to focus and explain in detail about the second one, uh, functions. So let me ask you a question, a real life situation question. Uh, let's say you're driving from Chicago to LA. Do you know how far away these two big cities are? Yeah, they're about 2,000 miles away. Let's, let's be more specific. Assuming you're driving a Toyota Corolla on a road trip from Chicago to LA and the gas tank is full. Now, how many times would you have to stop to fill the gas on the way? To answer this question, we have to have more information such as the distance between the two cities, um, what's the average speed of the car, how much uh, gas can this gas tank hold, and things like that. But not only that, we have to understand the relationship between time, speed, and the distance. And understanding the relationship between different variables is the core concept behind the idea of function. Question number three, how does a function help you determine the unknown values? Once the students understand the concept of a function, they'll be able to manipulate numbers, utilize different formulas, to answer many, many other questions, like how long it would it take to drive from uh, New York to LA? How long would it take to fly from Chicago to Korea? How many passengers can a jumbo airplane hold? How long would it take to, uh, the ball to hit the ground? And things like that. So here I listed some of the objective, learning objectives, and I compared them to the Common Core State Standards. So the first box is about understanding what a function is and uh, learning how to use the notations. The second box is about learning different types of functions such as quadratic functions or radical functions or inverse functions and comparing them and understand, understanding the relationship between those. And the last box is about understanding how a function can change depending on the variables or constants. And here are some of the contents that are going to be taught in class. Uh, the first box is about definitions and characteristics. The second box is about different types of functions. Uh, there will be composite functions and inverse functions. Uh, and the third one is about using graphic display calculators and use how to graph it, how visually represent their formulas and function equations. And students will also learn about x-intercepts and y-intercepts, uh, vertical and horizontal asymptotes, and they'll be able to draw different types of functions and transform it into visual representations um, with or without using graphing calculators. And these are just some of the key concepts that's going to be talked about in class. So variables and their relationships and analysis of these relationships. So to learn how to use algebraic skills and visual skills uh, to expand their and, and thinking, they'll investigate a question or circumstances and they will use technology. So students will be assessed using different types of methods. 
they will be given homeworks and quizzes uh, to see their understanding and to give them a chance to check their own understandings. They will be creating a video explaining the concept they understand and they'll be creating a poster explaining, organizing their learned materials. They also take tests and exams to show their understanding. Now, I've explained what the unit is about, what the math class is going to look like, but what good is it if they take the course and learn these, all, all these things? So IB Learner Profile explicitly uh, expresses 10 different traits of students' growth. Students will ask a lot of questions in class. They will know, understand, and do some of the knowledge and skills learned in class. They will think critically and they will communicate their understanding in different methods and they will constantly check their own understanding. An IBDP math program is a great way for the students to grow. Thank you.